Hey everyone, I'm Grin, and I'm the tech lead at Cabin. Cabin is a group of internet friends building a network city of modern villages. And that's kind of a long sentence, it's got a lot to it, so let's go piece by piece. Um, when I say a group of internet friends, I actually mean a pretty large group. We have 4,200 community members and 355 citizens, which is a yearly paid membership. And we also have 23 locations around the world where cabin members gather and live. All right, what's a network city? A network city is kind of like a physical city in that it's physical, but it's also distributed across space and onto the internet. Um, it's, we think of a city less as one spot and more like the context for your day-to-day -day living. It's where you work, it's where you meet your friends, it's where your kids go to school. So unlike a state, we're not looking for diplomatic recognition, but we do want to get to the point where somebody could say, I live in cabin, and really mean it. All right, last part. What's a modern village? That's our shortest way of talking about the two parts of our ethos. So village is about community, nature, about living together, and modern is about embracing technology and innovation. So this is what the people look like at Cabin. These are the people who've come to our community calls, who've lived with us, um, and who are part of the Cabin community. And I can also show you the places in Cabin. These are locations that are all around the world. We have 23 of them, including some here in Europe. And they're all beautiful locations with high-speed internet and nature out the front door. And they're all open to Cabin members. A bit of history. Cabin's been around for a couple years. And over time, we've done several dozen gatherings of different types across different scales and durations. Anything from side events at conferences to week-long and month-long residencies, all the way up to long-term co-living. And these experiments have reinforced to us that you can't create a city top-down. You have to evolve from something smaller and simpler than itself. You have to grow it, kind of like a garden. I think this tweet really sums it up well. And, you know, I, Rich, I have good news for you, which is that we are working on this with a program we call Supper Clubs. It's exactly what it sounds like. You get together with some interesting people, you cook a meal together, you talk about things you like, you snap some selfies for social media, and Cabin picks up the bill. There's Supper Clubs all over. It's the easiest way to connect with Cabin. And I'll tell you guys later how to get involved with one. All right, we did the physical part, but Cabin's also a network city. And we build with code, not just wood. So over time, we've built out a way for the Cabin community to get in touch online. It's several components working together. These components, I think, exist across all online, offline communities. And they look a little different depending on what your community is. So I'll show you what ours look like. So the census. This is where you start your identity in the cabin online world. Anyone can create a profile in the census and start to build your reputation within the community. Over time, the census collects stamps, the same way that your laptop gathers stickers or a Boy Scout you know, earns merit badges. These stamps are your history of participation within cabin. And we've given out thousands of these for people who come to community calls, people who come to events like this, people who co-live with us. The city directory is a list of those locations that I showed you earlier. It's what we consider within city limits for Cabin. It's also an open token curated registry. Any citizen can add locations to the census, and anyone with tokens can vote on which location they like best. So locations with more votes move to the top of the list, which provides information for people who want to stay there and also useful feedback for the hosts at these locations. Citizenship. I've said citizen a couple times now. Citizenship is our subscription membership to Cabin. For 0.2 ETH a year, you get access to the city directory and to our annual gathering, to partnership perks, to our merch store. You also get a custom citizen card, kind of like this, with a chip in it, that 
gives you access to Cabin. Um, citizenship works on a web of trust model, so you have to know a citizen who will vouch for you to let you in. Um, but if you want to join, you can find me, or there's several other citizens here today who can vouch for you. Finally, the network pulse. This is our newest thing, and we're just starting working on this now. Uh, this might look a little bit like what Balaji just showed you 10 minutes ago. Ours is less of his dashboard and more of like the bulletin board in the town square. It's one central place where you can come and see what's going on in Cabin and also what's about to happen. So there might be locations for people getting together, and there also might be places where they want to get together next, either for a meetup or to start a new Cabin node. But it's not just information from within the Cabin app. It's also citizens and members' activity all across the internet. So you can see there's a Strava challenge that people are competing in. There's blog posts from Mirror and Substack. There's NFT mints. There's Salsa nights. Any social and on-chain activity from all of the members of Cabin all pulled together in one place. We think that this is how the hybrid communities in our space will bridge the gap between physical and digital. And we've built this for us, but we're also building it for you. Everything you see here, the city directory, the census, the citizenship, the stamps, we also have uh, roles, we have a whole booking flow, a bunch of stuff I don't have time to show in this talk. All of that comes from the years of experience that we have running these events, and we want to offer this to everyone here. These uh, primitives, like I said, exist in all hybrid communities. And they won't look exactly like ours. Ours are pretty custom to us. But the underlying principles are the same. So if you're interested in something like this for your network city, come find me. So how to get in touch with us? If you're interested in IRL connection, I want you to go to a supper club. You know, don't be the guy from the tweet. If you're, if you wanna, if you're serious about network states, and if you're here, I can tell you are serious then a local dinner is the best way to get started. So if you go to cabin.city slash supper club, you can sign up for one. There's probably one near you. And cabin.city also has our community forum, our Discord, our socials, other ways to connect with us online. Or if you want to talk more tech, if that caught more your eye, you can connect with me directly. Once again, my name is Grin. I'm the tech lead at Cabin. Before Cabin, I was a founder of several other companies kind of adjacent to the space, like Library and VibeCamp. And I'm at Cabin today because I want to build the city that I want to live in. Not just for me, but for my friends, for my family, for my tribe. So come get in touch, say hi, go to grin.io if you want to reach out to me or see me here later. And uh, I wanted to show you guys this card. I only have one of these, so I I'm sorry I can't give one to all of you, but I'm going to toss this out to you right here. So please take that, um, pass it around. Pass it around to as many people as you can. I want everyone to see it. And then uh, at 7 PM, whoever's got it, please bring it to me. <laughs> Thank you.